Did you see? There was no ad. Yes, you heard me right. No ad anymore. And you don't have to pay for the YouTube premium anymore. How cool is this? Hey guys, this is Genesac6 here back again with another video. In this video, I'd like to review top five must-have app for your Android device. These apps will change your productivity to the next level. Yes, you heard me right. None of these apps are in a particular order. You can download it anyway. All of the apps link will be in the description below. It is available in Play Store. You don't even have to pay anything. Trust me, these apps are the must have app you should install in 2021. Let's jump into an action. This app is called RetroPod. It will give you an iPod classic look. As you can see, this is the best app. First time, it will ask you to give a permission to access your memory. You select OK and you're all sweet and you can play pause next center button is the ok button you'll be able to scroll down for and you'll be able to play any of these so now i'm not playing anything but let's go back in there to probably that will play it is playing don't want to get a copyright again and this app is called retropod second app is called vans 2 what you must be asking question what is vans 2 vans 2 is an app that is kind of a modified version of uh, youtube Yes, you heard me right. You don't have to pay for this one either. It is available in Play Store. You can download easily. And this will give you a YouTube Premium feel and all the features of the YouTube Premium. You'll be able to play video, no ads. You don't, it will play in the background. It will have a pop-up as well. So you will be able to enjoy in that app. And then you'll, at the first UI is very simple. With your purpose, I will be playing one of these new YouTube, uh, how you can download. As you can see, it is loading. And As you, can see, it is actually you see that one? Did you see? There was no ad. Yes, you heard me right. No ad anymore. And you don't have to pay for the YouTube premium anymore. How cool is this? Play it. You'll be able to change your resolution 1080 page, 720, 360, 144. You can play pause. Next, you'll be able to do pop up. How many? actual apps are out there that we're able to do that one so press a pop-up press the actual button as you can see it is playing on a pop-up window as well so you can do a lot of things you can multitask at the same time which ios suffers a lot okay so like, why don't we play it in a background as well play let's lock the screen as you can see it's playing in the background number three charge meter so you must be asking what is charge meter charge meter is an app that will help you to pinpoint if you ever get issue with the charging when they're charging an android device it might tell whether it's charging correctly or not this app itself will help you to see whether the actual charging capacity is good is your battery good or not is your actual capacity is right or not what's your level what's your temperature it could be if you must be using this phone for way too long and then it could be temperature, it could be voltage. In order to find that out, you'll be able to pinpoint what is the main issue. For instance, I got a cable, yes, with this is USB type C, and plug it in. Once I plug it in, it will start analyzing the charging capacity. As you can see, it's, it's improving. It's a quick charge, so go to 3000 plus. Wait for a while. If you ever run into problems saying you your charger is wrong, you're not charging correctly, then it will sit in one of these red zones. The health or charger, as you can see, I've connected with my fast charging, it's gone up to 3000 plus. And as you can see, all of the details, voltage, temperature of the actual device and the battery, level, your level status, AC, what's your battery out? There could be a bad battery as well, so you'll be able to tell it. If you get a brand new phone, then you might not have this issue like an older phone then you it could be one of these so it will be a very helpful app and the productivity level will go to next level app number four gfx tool you must be asking what is gfx tool it is a, an app that will help you to override the resolution of your PUBG. yes all the PUBG users out there this is the must have app for you so based on the what region are you on? It could be global, it could be India, it could be different. You'll be able to select it. So resolution wise, again, please uh, be wise and select the correct resolution. You don't want to ruin your phone. Uh, that could overheat if your device doesn't support any of this resolution. 
change the graphic to smooth, balance, HD, uh, FPS unlock. So that will help if it's at 60 FPS frame per second. Then if it's a default, whatever device is supported, it's in a default, 30. If you're older device, 40, again, 60. And if you ever had a 90 FPS device, then it will actually unlock it. You can select any of these and then at the bottom you press accept, it will, uh, another ad will pop up, press close it and then you will be able to run it without any issue. And if you get a graphic setting under your PUBG, you will be able to see your actual graphic has been unlocked. And I'm not recommending any viewers out there to do this one because again, if your device itself has a dedicated GPU, then you will be able to enjoy this one because the provider might not have unlocked it. Because I've seen a lot of people and users out there suffering from the graphics. And especially in PUBG, it's very poor graphic compared with an iOS device, but you'll be able to enjoy it and you'll be able to unlock that one capacity. Number five, the same thing, game. If you are one of those people who want to play PlayStation Portable on your device, this is the app for you. You'll be able to enjoy PlayStation Portable on your actual Android device without any jailbreak. This app is so hard to find as, which is easily accessible for your Android devices. The first thing is, you need, of course, you need to download a ROM for this one. The easy way to do it, if you go in your actual Google type uh, iOS PlayStation Portable PSSP, then you'll be able to download the ROM and make sure based on what folder you have kept it in, Select it and you will be able to enjoy that a complete old school game. This is so cool, okay? Well, if you like this type of video, please do thumbs up. If you don't like it, uh, do comment down below what type of apps would you like me to review. Please do subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Um, for now, signing out. Peace.